The defining feature of the new Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe is its sporty silhouette. It is immediately recognizable as a member of the Mercedes-Benz SUV family. Standard equipment includes the avant-garde exterior with 18-inch light alloy wheels and the chrome package. Hybrid models roll off the line on mixed-profile tires with different widths on the front and rear axles. Accentuating the width of the car is the seamless transition from the headlights to the radiator grille. The Mercedes-Benz pattern is standard on the radiator grille cover. The dramatic surfaces continue to define the exterior design. It is enhanced with precisely molded edges that accentuate the proportions and the muscular will arches. They also strike a balance between elegance and power. The AMG line is available with 19-inch or 20-inch mixed-profile tires and will arch liners in the vehicle color. Also offered as optional extras are easy-entry running boards and, from AMG line upwards, a night package. Other features of the sporty, confident appearance are the wide track and flush wheels in 18 to 20-inch sizes. Several of the wheels available X Factory feature a high sheen finish with bicolor surfaces. Their aerodynamics are also optimized through their special shape. Accentuating the width of the vehicle are the two-part tail lights with black-colored and dark-red connecting elements, closed off below by the simulated chrome underguard. The interior of the new Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe is equipped with the modern avant-garde line as standard. The dashboard is clearly structured. The upper section has a wing-like profile with new, flattened vent outlets. The lower section has a generous trim area that flows seamlessly into the curved center console. The 12.3-inch, 31.2 centimeters, high-resolution LCD screen in front of the driver appears to float freely above the wing profile and trim surface. The 11.9-inch, 30.2 centimeters, central display rises from the center console and likewise appears to float above the trim surface. Like the dashboard, the screen surface is slightly angled towards the driver. The modern, scaled-back design of the door panels frames both ends of the dashboard. The door center panel with integrated armrest transitions from a vertical to a horizontal surface. Reflecting the design of the center console, the front section takes the form of a metallic high-tech element. It can be used as a grab or closing handle and houses the power window controls. A new feature is the floating control cluster, into which the door opener and seat adjustment controls are integrated. The seat design plays with layers and contoured surfaces, lending them visual lightness. The head restraints and their connection to the backrest with an enclosed cover have been redesigned. Now offered as a special feature, standard for the AMG line, is a leather-lined dashboard with Napa-look belt lines. Some trim elements have innovative surfaces. These include interpretations of open-poured wood veneers in brown, anthracite, and black, featuring aluminium inlays. The dimensions underscore the dynamic and muscular look of the new Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe. With a length of 4,763 mm, it is 31 mm longer and 5 mm higher than its predecessor. The track widths are larger, by 6 mm at the front, now 1,627 mm, and 23 mm at the rear, now 1,640 mm. The longer vehicle length benefits the wheelbase and the front and rear overhangs. The width has remained the same at 1,890 mm. With even more boot volume than before, the GLC Coupe is ready for big road trips, 545 liters, 45 liters more than the preceding model, to 1,490 liters, a plus of 90 liters, in the mild hybrid models and 390 to 1,335 liters in plug-in hybrids. The EasyPack tailgate is standard. This opens or closes conveniently at the touch of a button using the ignition key, the switch in the driver's door or the unlocking handle on the tailgate. The new Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe is available with electrified drives. The mild hybrid units include a second-generation integrated starter generator, ISG, and a 48-volt onboard electrical system. The integrated starter generator in the mild hybrid variants supports the combustion engine especially at low engine speeds. 
complemented by the turbocharger, this delivers outstanding power. The 48-volt onboard electrical system supports hybrid functions such as coasting, boosting and energy recovery, thus increasing efficiency. The motors also start quickly and comfortably with the help of the ISG, with the start-slash-stop function barely perceptible to the driver. Three further engine variants are plug-in hybrids, which have sufficient electric-only range to meet practical needs. The improved hybrid driving program reserves electric driving mode for the most suitable sections of the route. It prioritizes electric driving on journeys in urban areas, for example. Regardless of whether it is a petrol or diesel model, as plug-in hybrids, all variants are both highly efficient and dynamic on the road. The high power density of the hybrid drive unit comes courtesy of a permanently excited internal rotor synchronous motor. The peak torque of the electric motor is ready to go right from the start, resulting in high agility when moving off, along with dynamic driving performance. The full electric power is available up to 140 km per hour. In the new GLC Coupe, Mercedes-Benz uses an electromechanical brake booster. It automatically controls the flexible transition between hydraulic braking and recuperation depending on the driving situation to ensure optimal energy recovery and braking performance at all times. As a result, the maximum recuperation power of up to 100 kW is achieved more frequently. The high-voltage battery is an in-house development by Mercedes-Benz. It has an installed capacity of 31.2 kWh. Starting from empty, a full recharge with the optional 60 kW DC charger is completed in around 30 minutes. The GLC Coupe is equipped as standard with an 11 kW 3-phase AC charger. That's all for this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.